You know, there's lots of situations where we're forced to remove existing veneers, whether we placed them or we're taking veneers off that someone else did. And Nick here had some veneers where he actually got some micro leakage, some staining at the margins. And the dilemma we're always faced with is how do we remove an existing veneer that was bonded properly and not remove any more two structure? I mean, ideally, we'd like to re remove just the porcelain and then the resin cement, clean things up, take new impressions, and place new veneers. So we're going to use an erbium YAG laser, and the concept with this is to actually dissolve or loosen the veneer through it into the resin so it'll pop off. Then we can just clean up the margins, clean up any stain in Nick's particular case, and we're not removing any more two structure just to place new veneers. So Nick had these veneers placed utilizing the total etch technique, and obviously they're bonded. Even though we have some micro leakage, we know that these things aren't just going to pop off. So certainly the options we had in the past would be to take a diamond slowly and efficiently as possible trying to remove the porcelain without damaging or removing any more tooth structure. And again, to do that, it's almost impossible. So we're going to utilize an erbium YAG laser, place it, we're using a relatively high pulse rate, about 30 hertz, at an energy level millijoules of between 150 and 175. And we're going to slowly just run the laser tip, and we're using a 600 micron laser tip, across the surface, hoping to loosen the veneer, and it'll pop off as an entire piece. We use a very light water mist spray. Comfort with that at all, Nick? Okay. Well, let's see if it if it loosened it at all. Let's take an explorer and well, there we go. As you can see, we definitely have some micro leakage, but this was all bonded, and we actually have the veneer intact. So one option at this point would be if we clean this up and we like the appearance of the veneer, we could actually hydrofluoric acid etch the veneer back and rebond this to the tooth. Obviously it would be a great procedure if during actual cementation of a case one of the veneers was placed on crooked or didn't go all the way down or if you utilize the tack and wave technique that if you tacked it and it wasn't completely in place instead of having to cut that off we could actually use the erbium pop that back off rehydrofluoric acid etch the porcelain and save that case. So let's try another one. We're using 30 hertz and 175 millijoules. And obviously there's not a, a definitive setting for this, but it obviously seemed, seemed to work. And obviously if you have the erbium laser, you could play with different settings to see what the quickness will for you. So let's go ahead and time this. Again, we have a bonded veneer. And we're gonna use the erbium with a 600 micron tip at 30 hertz and 175 millijoules. And the very cool thing about the erbium is it will not have any effect on the ceramic at all. So that's why I think this would be a great opportunity that if you ever misbonded a veneer or a porcelain crown or didn't go all the way down and it was already in place rather than losing a restoration, you could pop it off the erbium and save that restoration because we haven't damaged the porcelain. So we're at 20 seconds. Thirty. Let's see if that's enough. Yep, 30 seconds.
Thirty seconds. Holy. Oh. <laughs>